Hey beauty, I'm at Ulta today. I'm really excited. I've been needing to make an Ulta trip for a long time. Probably look at everything, honestly, because I need a hair product, I need some makeup, I kind of want a new lip liner. We're gonna browse, we're gonna have some fun. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra and I post lots of fashion and beauty content. Let's grab our things. Let's go shopping. I am so excited that Ulta has Fenty now. Ooh, I kind of want to try this blotting powder. Absorbs shine and it's pore diffusing. Ooh, or do I want to highlight? I've been wanting some of the Give Me Sun bronzer. Desi and I Love Sarai always talk about this and so I want to try it. I also kind of want to see if they have sweet tea. I don't see sweet tea lip liner. I do see cork though. Is sweet tea MAC or is sweet tea Morphe? I kind of like spice. I kind of do like cork. I might grab this one too. Just kidding. Sweet tea is by Morphe. The only one I'm seeing though is in this set. I think I'm gonna grab this though because it's a trio and it's only 18. Can y'all believe I've never had a Morphe palette? These are pretty. I gravitate towards the pink and browns. Yeah, let's keep browsing. So oh, I do kind of need a serum. Bio oil skincare oil. You guys know I like my Palmer skincare oil. Also seeing a whole display of tanning products. I really have only tried the Saint Tropez because I like the shower gel. I'm not seeing an individual of the shower Saint Tropez, so I might just pick that up on Amazon, but they do have a good selection. Ooh, they also have this really cute little mitt. I might grab that because I couldn't find mine today. Here at NARS, I did want to get the Radiant Longwear Foundation. They literally are sold out except for one. <laughs> and it's this Belen color, which is way too dark for me. So that sucks. They do have the light reflecting foundation but this color is in stock. This one and then this one. This might actually work though. Okay, I swatched it. It's kind of watery, but that color is not bad, honestly. It might be a little light though if I'm gonna be tanning. I feel like I would do better with one of these two colors rather than this one. I do have Beauty Bakery though, and I'm kind of excited because just kidding, I don't think they have my color. I opened it, it's kind of yellow. I feel like it might actually be too dark for me, which sucks, I really wish they had one of these three, but it's a really pretty color. Maybe if I was like two shades darker, two or three shades darker, honestly. I'm not sure if I've heard anything about their foundation, but oh look, they have the blending eggs. They're sponges, but they're packaged like eggs. That's too cute. I really wanted to try the Murad Brighten and Protect. I'm really in need of a serum, and so I came across these two. This is the Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum, and then this one is the Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum. I really wasn't sure about the difference, so I was looking at this set. It says that this one will exfoliate and brighten, which it is the Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum, and then this one is to reduce the 
look of dark spots and it's the rapid dark spot correcting serum so that's the difference is that this one is going to exfoliate and this one is just going to reduce the look of your dark spots so i'm going to try this one in the miniature version first it's only 27 dollars just because my skin is very sensitive to over exfoliation so i'm going to go with this one just to treat the dark spots i was looking for the mark anthony spray conditioner i'm not seeing it but i was also looking for a hair shine mist this one is by eva nyc honestly it's the only one that i've come across i'm gonna go with this packaging because i think it's cuter with the green a hair and body shine mist that's interesting how it says that it's for your body too. A fine mist glazes hair with a radiant sheen and imparts a moisturized dewy effect on the body. I'm also great at enhancing curls, infusing them with weightless silky hydration. Okay, I'm sold. I also have a blue and a purple shampoo, which I thought was awesome because not a lot of brands carry blue shampoos, especially drugstore brands. How fun is this brand right here called Truly? This is the Acai Your Boobies Boob Butter Firm and Titan. And then they have this one, the Buns of Glory Smoothing Butt Polish Thickening Glow. It's like a whipped texture. And then these lip plumping masks. I'm kind of tempted to get one just because it has glitter in it. This one is the Unicorn Fruit Lip Pumping Balm Lip Scrub. This is a lip plumping serum. Organic aloe and hyaluronic acid. Ooh, they have an ingrown serum. If you're prone to ingrowns, that would be something to look into. These are blemish patches. I have a hearts one. And a little flower plant. <laughs> I'm in the e.l.f. section. They actually do have the brow lift in stock. Six dollars. It, it is supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia one. They also have a whole bunch more colors of the putty bronzer. I feel like I have the lightest one and it's too light. I do really like it though and I love their putty blushes. I have Tahiti and Bali. So pretty. They also have a bunch of primers. They don't have the jelly primer. That's been really popular. I'm not seeing it. Here is the Makeup Revolution. Ooh, these blushes and highlights look so pretty. Look at that. Look at this one. Ooh, this one. So pretty. Here is the Milani. Kind of wanted more of like an orange blush. Here is the NYX. Kind of. Oh, I already got a lip liner. Do I need anything? Juice gloss? That looks fun. Wet n Wild. Ooh, I just got this Wet n Wild lip colors at Walmart and they're actually really nice. $2.99 for these. It's really not a bad price. This is what I was actually looking for in the Maybelline. It looks like they literally have four colors, but they do have this one, which I kind of want for a cream bronzer. I was really wanting an eyeshadow palette and an orange blush. So I think I'm gonna grab this Honey eyeshadow palette. Look how gorgeous those colors are. It's only $10 and I've heard nothing but great things about this brand. And I think I'm gonna get this double blush. Look at how fun those blush colors are. $15. Look how big the pans are. Ooh, that's really pretty too. Ooh, this one's really pretty too with that bright pink. How cool are these Real Technique sponges? They're skincare sponges. This one is the Miracle Cleanse sponge. It's got this really cool texture. And then this one is the Miracle Skincare sponge. And it has the cleansing silicone right here. So the silicone micro massager boosts circulation and absorption of products. And then the other side of the sponge is a toning sponge. So you put your toner on there and it evenly applies the toner. I also have this primer brush. 
It has a little scoop right here. I would use this for the L Putty Primer. And then the top is just a flat so you can tap it in. This brush is also really cool. So it is a three in one and it's adjustable on the side so that you get three styles of brushes. For sheer, medium, or focused application, I have it in the orange color and the pink color. Now in the Eco Tools, this is actually new. It's their Lux Massage Tool to soothe, cool, and refresh skin. And then looking at the lashes, Eiler now has a, a lash glue. This one actually is a lash glue with a wing stamp. That's cool, I love my wings stamp honestly they also have some that are pre-glued which i'm um, not sure how long that glue would last but that's really cool duo also has a new liner application this one has a fine tip applicator they also have a black one i came to the hair accessories because my cousin had found a clip that's like extra wide at target i was hoping they would have it here i am back with all my goodies i went a little crazy but i have been putting this ulta trip off for what i feel like is months now so that's how i'm justifying it i did end up getting this this little tanning mitt. Look how cute that is with the fun colors. Love that. This bronzer keeps coming up and it just looks so gorgeous in videos whenever anyone uses it. So I'm really excited to try this. I've been needing a new powder bronzer. I did end up going with the e.l.f. Brow Lift instead of the Anastasia one. You guys know I'm a drugstore girl, so I'm really excited to try that. And then I did also end up getting the Fenty Invisi Matte Blotting Powder. I kinda wanna try this. There's the packaging. It comes with this little pad. Just gonna use the pad that it comes with. Ooh. Look at the difference. It's like I got a filter on. I'm so happy I bought this. Okay, now I have to even out my face. I did end up going with this Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum. This is a little mini size. I did also get the Juvia's Place Rebel Honey Eyeshadow Palette. This gold shimmery color is stunning. Look at that. Wow. So pretty. Here's the orange. The darkest color. Dang, these are so pigmented. And then the yellow. Ooh, that is so pretty. I kinda wanna try this one on right now. I did end up getting the Blushed Volume One Palette. There's the packaging. And it opens up like this. I did get this Real Techniques Instant Brush Cleaner. And I have a little makeup eraser towel here. This brush wasn't that dirty, but it did get it clean really quick. I'm gonna try the orange one because that's the color. Ooh, what a fun blush color. I wonder how that's gonna look with bronzer since it's so orange. This is more of a blush brush, but I'm gonna try the bronzer. This is the Give Me Sun bronzer. It actually doesn't look bad with bronzer, even though I got it a little splotchy right here. I just covered my whole face in Give Me Sun and I'm liking it. I did get this skincare sponge. There's what it looks like out of the package. So you're supposed to wet it first and then use your toner on this part and then do your moisturizer and serums on the silicone part. I might make a TikTok out of this. This Eva NYC Hair and Body Shine Mist. My hair's been looking so dry. Did it make a difference? I can't really tell. Ah, 
I guess it kind of did. Oh no, what happened? Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to return that. That really sucks. I got this to work. Yay! I literally just wiggled it around a little bit. I kind of do feel like I see a difference in the shine in my hair. It did say that it's like a body shine spray. Don't mind my bra. I had the jacket on and you weren't supposed to be able to see it, but I want to see what it does on my shoulder. It actually did. I'll probably only use this on my hair though, honestly, because I have plenty of body oils, but if you're in a pinch, you want just a little bit of shine all over. What is this? Oh, they actually gave me this as a gift for buying the Fenty blotting powder. This is the Gloss Balm Heat in the color Hot Cherry. That is so pretty right there. A good little summer color. Another skincare item. This is the Bio Oil Skincare Oil. I'm excited to try this. I think I mentioned in store that I really love the Palmer's one. They're both around the same price though. Oh, I did get the Sweet Tea by Morphe. I'm liking the packaging. I'm just literally putting this over what I'm already wearing. I like it though, it's a really pretty color. I feel like someone I follow on Instagram always talks about this color. Wow, that's really pretty. The lipstick that I've really been liking right now is this Wet n Wild in the color Bear It All. I think I just found my new lip combo. Wow, those are so pretty together. I'm really excited. I've been needing a good lip liner color for a while. Let's just layer some of this lip gloss on top. Ooh, it didn't darken it too much at all. That is so pretty. That's really pretty. Instant Age Rewind Eraser in the color 147.5. It doesn't have a name or anything, but I'm excited to try this for cream bronzer. Star Kisser Jelly Lip Plumping Mask. Yes, I did buy it just because it has glitter in it. I wanna smell it though. Oh, look, it's got like a minty scent. It says, apply to lips and leave for three to five minutes before washing off. It's a plumping mask. I don't need that much plumping, let's be honest. I'm really excited to dive into all of these products that I picked up today, just a little bit more. If you don't follow me on TikTok and Instagram, be sure and follow me over there. The links to those socials are in the description box below. With that being said, it's time for me to head out. Thank y'all so, so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.